Hello everyone, welcome in the fifth part of my course. Today we'll finally build a simple microservices architecture that consists of three applications that communicates over HTTP protocol within the same namespace. These applications are employee, department and organization service. They are exchanging data and using in-memory database as a packet store. We'll also apply mechanism for exposing our applications outside Kubernetes cluster using different approach than currently introduced port for running. It will be based on Kubernetes ingress. I'm going to start our implementation from employee service. Let's take a look on the entity class. It's very trivial entity. It has a single ID field, which is auto generated on the database side. It also has some fields like first name, last name, position. It is also referencing to organization by ID and to the department also by its ID. Our application is using in-memory data store, so we need to include the dependency H2 into Maven POM XML, and then we need to change some settings in application YAML. We are setting a right URL, driver class name, username, password, and JPA dialect. In the next step, we are going to create repository bin. We are using well-known Spring Data repository pattern. It extends root repository interface and we are defining two custom find methods find by organization id and find by department id this method will be used for implementing rest endpoints on the controller side so now we are injecting repository bin into the controller and we may proceed to the implementation of some endpoints. We are starting from post endpoint that's, uh, that allows us to add a new employee. It saves the state of this employee inside our in-memory data store. We also have some additional methods for searching data. I'm uh, creating method find by ID. We will also have a find all method and two methods that allows us to search all employees assigned to the organization and to the department. And now we may proceed to the implementation of department service. You see it's entity bin. Uh, I'm creating, adding here a list of employees, but uh, it needs to be annotated with transit. I don't want to store the state of uh, this list inside database since uh, it is uh, stored on the employee service side. Now we are creating a bin responsible for defining REST template. REST template is used for communication between REST applications. I'm setting a uh, one second read timeout on it. And now we may inject REST template into the controller and so we, to, we can provide implementation of two methods that uh, is communicating with employee service. First method allows us to find department and retrieve all the employees assigned to the current department. So first, uh, we are going to find this object in, in memory data store, and then we are using REST template to communicate with employee service. We are using Kubernetes service name and Kubernetes service port. We need to call this endpoint, so we will copy this URL, and we will use get for object method provided by REST template. And this is the rest of our implementation. We'll add another endpoint that allows us to add multiple employees. It will take department with employees as an input and then it will call rest template 
it will use the rest template to call employee endpoint responsible for adding a single employee. It is also very trivial implementation. <laughs> Using the same service name and port. The only difference is that we are calling REST template method in a loop for each employee. Okay, so the implementation of department service is finished. And now let's take a look on the implementation of organization controller inside organization service. Organization service is integrating not only with employee service, it also has a method for retrieving all departments assigned to the current organization. The first method is responsible just for retrieving all the employees assigned to the current organization. The second method will if the second method find by ID, find by department, find by ID with departments will integrate with employee service and call endpoint responsible for retrieving all employees assigned to the department. And in fact, our implementation is finished, so we will we can use scaffold to deploy all these microservices on Kubernetes. So now let's take a look on the state of our namespace after deployment. All our applications has been deployed inside test namespace. So let's verify a list of exposed services. As I have already mentioned, a communication between microservices over HTTP protocol is realized using Kubernetes services names, so you see that I'm using a employee service and department service with REST template. The next step is to expose our application outside Kubernetes cluster. We are using Kubernetes ingress object for it, and I'm basing on the Nginx ingress controller implementation. I'm using its rewrite target rule because I need to cut everything after the prefix, so if the prefix of the path prefix is employee for employee, department for department service. I need to cut this prefix and then forward the request to the downstream service. We are doing the same thing for all three microservices here. And now we need to apply the configuration of our ingress inside test namespace. You see that it has been successfully created. You may verify some details here. Of course, if you would like to use Nginx controller, you first need to install it on your Kubernetes cluster. You see that uh, it is exposed over localhost because I'm using Kubernetes on Docker desktop. So now I can call our service using localhost and the path registered inside ingress, so I'm using department path. And now we may add some test data. In the first step I added a department ID, now I'm going to add some employees using also ingress routing. Uh, since we add some test data, we may call endpoint from department service responsible for searching department by ID and retrieving a list of employees from employee service. You see that our integration works properly. The list of endpoints has been retrieved. <laughs>